Uh, I am Amna Abdullah Muhammad Khalid. I am from Sudan, uh, next to the Shine Forum uh, of Sudan 2015-2017. And then uh, I'm uh, currently a vice chair of uh, Next and Shine Forum Community of Scientists Executive Committee. And I have joined Next and Shine Forum because I was like having a hope of uh, helping people back uh, in my country. I did my PhD in Italy and then I moved to Germany for my postdoctoral. So I thought maybe uh, with this type of initiative, which is really powerful, I can help people in my country by um, sharing the knowledge I have and also organizing different activity as also Next and Shine Forum has this, uh, let's say, um, one of the main goals I have. Uh, moreover, with the time, we discovered that the community of scientists in, um, in Next and Shine Forum is growing because each two years there is new um, next, uh, let's say, ambassador and follow, they join the, the team. And with the time, we are growing. So we are now um, more than 150. And so we thought about, OK, let's make it as a community and try to orient it in a way that we're really going to transform, let's say, Africa to be a, a hub or a place for science and technology. And to do that, uh, we thought about, OK, let's start it. And that was 2017. So we had the first executive committee have been selected. I am a vice chair. And then from that time, we start to, let's say, doing stuff in, in, in a more um, order, let's say, in a, in a more directed way. Currently, I'm a postdoctoral researcher at George Douglas University in Germany, uh, in which I was working still in the same field what I was doing during my PhD. So I'm really interested about find the best, let's say, solution for uh, cancer therapy and cancer diagnosis and, and so on. And during my PhD, I was doing uh, research which is really focusing on how to uh, improve uh, the cancer diagnosis. And now I move to the blocking, let's say. So you wanted to stop the cell of cancer to grow. And so this is really my focus of research. Uh, my research is really focusing on a study uh, in the fundamental research. So the impact of my research is going to be uh, supporting for cancer therapy in a way that if we understand very well this uh, motor protein that I'm studying, then we can apply it in a clinic by using, um, let's say, uh, a drug or kind of medical that is really stopping uh, the cancer for growing, from growing. Uh, one of the big challenge we have in Africa is that we have really big gap for the scientists in Africa to be really in, let's say, uh, in a hot topic in science and technology. And that is because uh, one of the things is like we are disconnected from the rest of the world. One of the things is like we are not updated with what, what research is really going on right now. And, and in fact, that there is a lot of research have been done in Africa and is still uh, ongoing. But then we don't know about it. I mean, there is no well uh, platform that where you can find the Africa scientists that are doing this research and so on. So is, there is many challenges, let's say. But one of the big challenges is the disconnected. And also, we don't have a network uh, inside within Africa, but also with uh, international uh, scientists. So there is, but it's not that recognizable. So it's, it needs to be a little bit more improved. Uh, well, our government needs to be uh, really rethinking about the importance of science and technology for development, but also for the, the so it's for the, it's for all the level of community. So it's for the individual, but also for the public, and also for the development of the country in general. So the, the government and industries they have to work all together to support the scientists to do their science research. And there are different types of research, uh, let's say, in science. One of them is the basics, is the fundamental, which is take a long time to get the result out of it. But also we have a well-defined research that you just need to, to apply it, let's say. You need to, to just have the final touch and you get your uh, innovation, uh, or let's say your um, technique is already there. So uh, government and industries they need, really need to support Funding, first of all, but also in the all type of supporting, let's say. So 
in five to ten years, uh, I have a big plan about the projects that I'm, I'm really doing right now. So for now, I am a postdoctoral researcher in which I have a project and I have the money that support me for doing this research. But from next year, I'm planning to apply for a proposal and I get a fund to do the same type of research and keep going in order to, to support this field of cancer therapy and find, I will not say the end because uh, the research is never ended, but it's to find at least a clear uh, direction of this one, which is really, I, I really like it. And also I hope to be able to have enough knowledge, enough experience to go back to my country and have my group of research uh, well established there.